Are we rolling? Yes. Okay. So what time is it right now? It's too early in the morning. <laughs> right now it's 8 a.m. and we're gonna cook breakfast together. Look at the size of the egg that I bought. Daniel like just uh, devours eggs. So I had to get a big one so it lasts a little bit longer for me to have a chance to eat. <laughs> Just gonna do two. Are you gonna have some, Daniel? Yeah, do like four. Daniel thinks my makeup is a bit weird today. <laughs> I've been trying to go for a more minimal look, so not much like, um, not really eyeliner, just minimum cheek and minimum eyeshadow. <laughs> and the uh, people at work, nobody notices it. <laughs> so. Katie, what's, what's on the menu? What else do you have? All right, so I've got uh, Almond milk. I wanted to try almond milk. I wanted to try almond milk. Ah! It's even more bonus because Daniel can drink milk. So finally, we have something that we can drink together, right? And you yeah. don't really drink soybean milk either, that's, somehow. That's the first milk that I really like the taste of. I'm gonna mix this with the miscaru powder and uh, we will have misukaru. What is misukaru? Misukaru is a powder that has mixed grains, very healthy and filling, and a lot of Koreans drink it when they're on the go or for breakfast as well. Yeah, it, this is like my life savior in the morning actually. When I'm busy, I got no time to have rice. It has uh, barley and soybeans and hyunmi, all the good stuff, right? What is hyunmi? It's my translator. It's brown rice. My papago. Mm. This is from uh, Jeju Island. They're, they grow in Jeju Island and uh, their Korean name is called Cheon Hae Yang. Cheon Hae Yang. Cheon I started to take more fruit uh, because I wanted to stay healthier and I recently had like a health checkup. Apparently, I have like a little benign tumor in my breast and uh, I had like a tissue examination to find out what it was whether it was something serious then I would have to take it out and uh, that process was pretty like life-changing shocking experience they had to extract some samples from your breast to like do further examination and how they do it is they basically put a little mini gun inside your breast and they do tang 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 does that make sense and then there's no anesthesia for that because apparently because it's your cell so you can't do anesthesia so they put like a, it's a little biopsy yeah it's called biopsy so the result came out that it wasn't breast cancer but this is like still like a benign tumor and I, I do need to go to the hospital for a regular checkup because if this thing becomes bigger it increases the likelihood of having breast cancer so I decided to take a it was like a awakening call for me to take better care of my body just think it's important to women to go for like checkups regularly and I don't know I've this was like a shocking for me because I've never like heard about this like need for a checkup anything like from people around me but now you know so it's nothing too crazy to do like just a checkup right it's just a regular checkup is good It just started to boil you look like a professional cameraman. Okay, I'm running out of time. Let's be quick. Five more minutes and I have to leave the house. This one, you can find it in gochu jar. And uh, I'm just gonna give it uh, two big scoops. Actually, I'm gonna give one more, three. There's no... So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pour my almond milk inside. Well, you can use whatever. You can use water, milk, soybean milk, whatever that you like. But uh, just gonna pour a little bit and I'm gonna first mix it. I think some of you might just wanna, you might just wanna use like those shaker, shaker tumbler. But I'm an old style, so this is how I've been eating since I was a child, so I'm very used to it. And there is this uh, clip that Daniel showed me people trying misukaru in New York. 
It's hilarious, though. Let's have a what? morning routine. Grab a coffee, uh, maybe some kind of a sandwich or a shake for breakfast. But some people are now able to combine the two. Liz Dollum shows us the drink that may be new to New Yorkers, but is actually hundreds of years old. Watch this. It's actually a misugaru latte. Wait, what? It's a multi-grain latte. It has uh, wheat, barley. What do you taste in there? Any guesses? Popcorn. I, I <laughs> taste the rice. It's really sweet. I, I like it. Liz, this is really great. Misugaru. I pronounce misugaru. it right. Misugaru. Misugaru. Okay. <laughs> I want to see. Mm. This is perfect for me. You can add like maybe one or two spoons of honey or sugar inside if you think this is a little bit bland. But it, misugaru is supposed to be a little bit bland. It's not something that is like chocolate cakey taste. <laughs> this is a uh, yachepang, vegetable bread. I wanted to give it a try. Show me the inside. It's delicious. It's a cheese and like carrot and some leaf and all the vegetables. So leaf. <laughs> So Katie, what's going on in the K-pop news? Isn't this so a big Sunny scandal? So was found out, Sunny, a member of a K-pop group called Big Bang. He was found out doing like prostitution, getting working as a midman to like provide girls to like companies and like people associated with him for business and they revealed conversations like cacao messages that he's been having with those people and these people are just appalled by how dirty it is and how like he basically treats looks at girls like products so i suggest you number one two three four five girls which one would you like to pick one is pretty but a little bit quiet three is a little bit not as pretty but has a lot has a lot of talent all these like nitty gritty conversations got revealed so like it's just so shocking as they're investigating this case this seems like there are more and more K-pop stars involved with this issue, directly or indirectly. So I just wonder how crazy this is. So that that Sunny and uh, his friends' names have been on like a Korean news for the past like week. And actually, one of our viewers asked me this question: like, do Korean women all wear short skirt to work, like they see in drama? Definitely not. The trend is definitely setting towards a more comfortable clothes. So you will see more women wearing sneakers to go to work, jeans. And for me, I work in the IT industry, so that's less of an issue. But when I think about the time when I was working at a bank too, like if, if anything is more opposite, it's very conservative. So you will feel pressure to wear such short skirts. Right? So, so I would kind of make sure that my skirts kind of fall towards my knee, nothing above my knee. Oh, and uh, Daniel, before we go out, how is the weather today? Is there a lot of uh, micro dust pollution in the air? Oh, the, the two day streak of clean air is broken now. It felt like heaven, so good. In Korea, we have been suffering from this uh, air pollution and the key problem is all the micro dust or there was another old micro dust there is micro dust and there is ultra micro dust it's all the dust coming from china from all the coal factories that are sitting all along the east coast of china so the wind blows from china a lot of the times and yeah, that, uh, that uh, coal dust comes all the way to Korea and it basically just uh, covers the whole sky and that's why I've been wearing those like uh, filter masks to go to work. Okay, I want to show you how it is. So. At first I was a little bit embarrassed with this but now I'm so used to it. I look like the people in Mad Max. It's only when the wind blows from China, we have a high level of micro dust. When the wind blows from the north or from Siberia or Russia, it's like so clear. We want the wind to, to keep blowing from the north, not from the east, but uh, it's nature. So my egg got so <laughs> broken. <laughs> Don't show this, Daniel. Right now, my plate looks a little bit miserable. But uh, every episode, I will upgrade. So we will meet weekly. Oh, I have to go now. 
so mascara. So my outfit for today, I want to show you for a normal Korean working woman. It's just whatever you like to wear, whatever that's comfortable. I'm wearing this sweater. It sucks. Oh, <laughs> you know that's on purpose too, right? Also, I have this sweater, but uh, it's a little bit too much cleavage, so I pinned it up. It looks so natural, right? You can't tell. Did you think it was part of the design? Yeah, in Korea, cleavage is more no-no than the legs. The, so the girls would wear a very, very short skirts. That's more acceptable than having your like your cleavage show. Showing your cleavage is a no-no. <laughs> Everybody will look at you at work and think what's going on today. Yeah, <laughs> Daniel got me this. Very good. Very very good. Oh, so the order is this first. <laughs> See you guys! Have a good day! Katie, the microphone! Oh. <laughs>